Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do another packing with me um, video. I just, I hope you guys um, like them. I feel like I do them a lot but it's mostly just making a video every week is more than it sounds. Like I don't, um, I am working on like a bigger project which will be a video which will hopefully be up next week. I'm hoping if I'm done by then, but um, yeah, I really trying to do creative things, of course. But um, yeah, I recently made a TikTok, so you can check that out on my TikTok or on my Instagram. Um, my TikTok is new, and it's also called My Journal Shop, um, and it's a little journal with me ASMR, and I love it. So it would mean a lot to me if you checked it out. I'm trying to branch out to TikTok because I feel like I am kind of stuck with my followers growth and if I don't grow it's really hard to maintain um, motivation and having a shop so <laughs> I, I'm trying um, but yeah I did really enjoy filming these videos I've been filming and as well as this one so the first or do you see me pack is from a while ago but I um, had not put it in a video yet so this is um, yeah some cute little things, my mason jars and some earring sets. My earrings are three for two, so you might want to check that out. Because I'm also not going to be restocking um, these type of earrings because I want to be a shop that relies on handmade products only, so... Um yeah, so I'm still really happy that I have all these charms left to make earrings with. But once I'm out of the charms, I won't be restocking them. So if you have seen a pair that you would love, or three that you can get for two, you might want to be quick with that. So um, yeah, I lost some footage. Happens sometimes when you film in 4K. So uh, sometimes I like to add some butterflies into the envelope. It's kind of like a confetti. And... Um, yeah, I really like that. And lately I have been starting to sell things on Facebook Marketplace to reach a bigger audience and a Dutch audience. So shipping is also cheaper, stuff like that. And this lady bought seven of my um, written envelope sets. So I thought that was all of them. And then I found that I had some uh, loose ones laying around. So I was able to make two more sets and one is already sold. So if you want to get the last set, you need to be really quick. Um, the last set is going to be a combination of unwritten and written ones because it was all that I had left, um, but still a very fun set. So I'm hoping that one day I'll find um, them again in a thrift store. But, you know, it's a thrift store, so you can never um, see what you expect. But I really like that she she bought them. Um, it's still one of my favorite products. I think they look so cute. And I wrote her this card and uh, my business card. And, of course, always a small little um, ephemera. No, it's not ephemera. It's ephemera. Ephemera stickers and my logo sticker. And I package it in this newspaper because it was such a big uh, stack of envelopes and um, yeah I thought I could just go with the vintage theme so I also added some um, yarn and a baby's breath flower so I do want to say that I am very happy with my shop and packing orders is still my favorite thing in the world it's just so much fun so um, I want to say thank you to everyone who ever ordered something from me. I can't wait to come up with new products and just um, branch out and do more. Um, hopefully in the fall I will get into that like fall creative vibe. Um, like I don't know if I'm making this up or if fall is actually my creative time of the year. I don't know. <laughs> I might be making that up. I just feel like I really feel like I need to manifest and work hard so that I will finally grow again. And then um, once I finally put out new products, um, it will be 
uh, worth it, you know, because um, making new products is um, time consuming and it costs money because you need to buy these supplies. And I just feel like right now in this moment of time, I am not confident enough to start making a whole new set of products because um yeah just you know instagram was my main like um thing that was growing and it, that's not growing anymore so it's it's sad but hopefully things will be better again that's why i'm on tiktok now so follow me on tiktok if you're on tiktok if not that's totally cool you don't have to make it for me um it's very addicting like i have that app and uh I already spent so much time on there, like, I didn't want to do that, but it's so addicting. Anyways, so I just keep those air envelopes pretty simple because you're not going to, like, put them in a journal, you know. You're just gonna, like, throw them away or reuse them if you want. Um, I always reuse big envelopes like this when I get them in the mail. Um, and I don't use them for my shop, but for, like, if I sell something on marketplace like a piece of clothing or something i always reuse envelopes and it just makes me feel really good about myself I like being good for the environment and reusing things it's just a little thing i like to do and um i did decorate a bit of washi tape my logo sticker and these two butterflies that i put on there and uh, i just thought it looked cute so then we're going to move on to the last order um which is four earrings and the other envelope set that I have left. So I'm going to show you how I make the, the sets, basically. So I thought this was cute to film. Getting this little holder for my wax uh, seal spoon <laughs> is such a lifesaver. I used to struggle so much because I couldn't do anything in the meantime. And that made me very... um impatient and that would mess up the wax seal so just putting it in a holder you can do something else while you wait and that's really great so I put some string around it and I tied a knot I put a little piece of paper under it so that the wax seal doesn't get on the envelopes and it just looks so cute I really hope I find them again or general like in general cute things at the thrift store that I can sell because I just think it's so great and um yeah, let me know what you would like to see in my shop. It can be vintage, it can be handmade by me. I would love to get some new ideas. Um, there are a lot of things I could branch out to, you know. Um, like, there are a lot of things I could do in that area of, like, postcards or um, stickers or washi tape. Like, things like that will need some real... Um, investment if you know what i mean so things like that i would love to do that someday but if i do it right now it's just gonna can cause me a lot of stress because i cannot afford it so if you can think of something that i could do with the things i have um please let me know i'm always open to suggestions i love making custom products and um, i love making you guys happy so this is the envelope uh do you want to see me just um decorating a bunch of envelopes in a video because i always stuck up on these envelopes that so can just grab them whenever i have an order and i could just make a video about that for all my like happy meal lovers that could be cute um i love how this wax seal turned out like it's very like wobbly with the with the knot and everything and it still turned out so good so i'm loving that so like always, I'm always cleaning my placemat and the earrings. Um, not that I'm dirty, but just to be um, extra clean. So yeah, it's the first time I sold my Harry and Hermione earrings and they look so cute. I'm obsessed with them. I don't have a lot of them. So if you want them, I think there's only like one pair left. You could get a pair if you want like one Harry and one Hermione. If you're like like cool like that, you should tell me in the DMs and I can make that happen. Um, but yeah, I'm really low on those. And she also bought the silver face earrings. I also got these in gold. And the daisy earrings, like my um, 
Can I say that, that is my signature earring? I don't know. Anything Daisy is basically signature for me. So I'm putting that in the bags and I would always um, encourage people to reuse them because at first I was like, oh, I don't want to use love packaging. Um, but then I was like, I do want to use packaging because I reuse everything, every little piece of plastic, um, unless it's like dirty. But yeah, so I'm just hoping that people will buy from me. Uh, don't throw it away. And if you do, you know, it's your own choice, of course. But um, that's why I am still packaging things in plastic. Because I just like the way it looks. I like the feel. And I like that it's protected. And I also add these little thank you stickers. And I just think that, I don't know, I would be really happy to receive things in cute bags like this. And I would reuse them for like goodies and snail mail or in my journal or just to store um, little things that I want to keep together like cutouts or something and then I also put a little um, eraser in that bag with the stickers and I write this little card from Big Hero 6 that I saw this weekend for the first time and um yeah, I put the envelopes in this plastic bag so they don't get um, messed up in the envelope. And then that was everything. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's Majornal Snowbar. If you want to go support me, my shop, it's Majornal Shop. Same as my TikTok. And if you want to support me even more and receive happy mail, you can also check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Thank you all so much for watching. And I would love to see you next time. Bye.